Have you ever met someone who hates Jesus on your team? Who hates Jesus? This girl does, and I think she hates me too. She'll never set me the ball. She makes volleyball not very fun. How could volleyball not be fun? It's my favorite thing. She sounds like a bully. A bully is a person who wants to have control. She always wants people to follow her. Some bullies even gossip about you behind your back. Do you know her? Her name's Emma. You must know her. I'm a little afraid of her. There's this person on my basketball team. Um, he makes fun of me. Whenever I shoot a free throw and miss it, he laughs at me. But his name's George. When people don't know that Jesus is for real, the Bible says that they are walking in darkness. Even in the daytime, in the darkness, you can't do things and you can't see. Wouldn't that make you a confusing, grumpy person? Exactly. Without Jesus, you were lost. You try to do things by your own, but you can't because you're not in control. God is in control. Just remember, you need to forgive her. Don't, be, don't try to be mean back to her. Just maybe invite her to church or invite her to ask CBS. Hey, y'all want to go play some basketball? Sure, yeah, let's go. All right. Grace, just remember to forgive her. This seems impossible. Like it's impossible for me to dunk like a six feet basketball player. <laughs> Hayden, I've tried and I've tried and I've tried to be nice to her. But every time I'm nice to her, she just gets meaner. I think I might quit the volleyball team. Grace, do you remember Paul? Yeah, I remember Paul. He wrote a lot of the New Testament and loved Jesus. Well, he traveled around on boat telling people about Jesus, spreading God's love for them, and just showing how much God cared for them. Well, before he was Paul, his name was Saul, and he was the biggest bully ever. But God changed him. He changed his heart and changed his mind, and then he became a great guy that just loved Jesus and spread his word. Only God can change someone. That's not your job, it's God's job. Your job is just to love them and pray for them and just be kind to them. Let's, Let's play ball. ball! Wait, wait, wait. Just remember, tell your parents about Emma. They can help too. Maybe she just needs someone to help them and just be kind to her. Let's pray for her right now. Heavenly Father, thank you for Emma. I pray, Lord, that we just know that she's under construction for you. That if we just be kind to her and you will work her heart and you will change her heart and help her just see that you want her to do better things and not bully Grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Everybody needs to know about Jesus. Even Emma, so you, you will be on our team to be nice to her. Emma's just under construction for the Lord. Let's go! Listen, everybody, let me tell you true What Jesus did for me, He can do for you He changed the building plans the devil had in store Now I'm under construction by the Lord this house that he is building is not made with hands It's built upon the rock, not the sinking sands I've got the cross of Jesus for my nails and boards And I'm under construction by the Lord Oh yes I'm under construction Oh yes I'm under construction Under construction by the Lord my house is my life, my foundation, Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm under construction by the Lord. The Bible is my window, it stays open wide. The Holy Spirit helps me take a good look inside. There's love on every story, faith on every floor. And I'm under construction by the Lord. All promises of God, they are my solid wall. The wind and rain may blow, but they will never fall. The precious blood of Jesus is my open door, and I'm under construction by the Lord. Oh yes, I'm under construction. Oh, yes, I'm under construction. Under construction by the Lord. My house is my life, my foundation, Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm under construction by the Lord. Now can you hear those hammers ringing? Oh, can you hear those saw blades singing? We don't just talk the talk. No, we walk the walk. Jesus 
is my foreman, he is in control. He did all the work it took to save my soul. Someday I'll have a mansion on God's golden shore. Now I'm under construction by the Lord. Oh yes, I'm under construction. Oh, yes, I'm under construction. Under construction by the Lord. My house is my life, my foundation, Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm under construction by the Lord. Now can you hear those hammers ringing? Come on! Hey, hey, hey. Can you hear those saw blades singing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't just talk the talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we walk the walk. Jesus is my foreman, he is in control. He did all the work it took to save my soul. Someday I'll have a mansion on God's golden show. Now I'm under construction by the Lord. Oh yes, I'm under construction. Oh, yes, I'm under construction. Under construction by the Lord. My house is my life, my foundation, Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm under construction by the Lord. Oh, yes, I'm under construction by the Lord. Jesus replied, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Matthew 22, 37. 